Ladies and gentlemen, people of all ages, welcome to our first Final Four for the Brisbane Zero Five Blaster World Club Cup Season 1. It has been the great season of all this tournament. This tournament had pretty iconic moments here. We've already gone through the round of 16 and quarterfinal matches, but only four teams were able to survive at the dying stages of this tournament. Now let me show you the highlights of this season so far. Each team has provided an awesome goal like Roy Keane's powerful kick to a long range goal. You think that's awesome? Well, we have this awesome goal happening at the start of the match. Like this one for example. Now we come to the excellent place of this tournament, like Varane's dangerous free kick to a goal-saving game from Barcelona. Or Real Madrid's wasted corner opportunity to an awesome goal. But some of the teams have actually provided down to the last play moments, like Schultz, football skills, to scoring a goal, Gavinon's awkward position in scoring a goal, and you should actually see his celebration, it was actually pretty good. Then this crazy goal here, first we had an attempt from Verona but was saved, but then this play happened, of course, Colucci's pass to Adelton scoring a goal. And then the top highlights was Akinbi's amazing corner pass from a dangerous position, an awkward position for Scorecroft's kick. Which was your favorite iconic moment? Comment below. So that was the highlights of the season so far. It has been the craziest season so far for all the teams, all the 16 teams of this tournament. And four teams were able to survive. So now, let's just see who are the first four teams that have made it to the semis. Here we are. Number one, Barcelona. The dominant team in La Liga, Europe and FIFA history is none other than Barcelona. Barcelona have been red hot in this tournament as they have won Champions League titles, La Liga titles and Copa del Rey titles and are looking forward to book their grand final spot at this tournament. Barcelona in their last knockout matches have managed to beat the depleted Sporting Lisbon in the round of 16 game with a scoreline of 2-0. Then came to the quarterfinals in style to beat Manchester United on penalties 4-3, but the scoreline won all. Barcelona has the likes of Xavi, Carlos Puyol, the Dutchman Patrick Kluivert, and their highest goal scorer over Mars. Barca are now in the semi-finals at home to challenge Hellas Verona. Can this team bring success? We don't know. But now let's get to number two here. Hellas Verona. Hellas Verona are the underdogs in Serie A and have never got the chance to be in their first Champions League finals. But this will all change as they got their tough opponents Barca in the semi-finals as they look to continue their fairy tale run. Hellas Verona in their last knockout matches have managed to cause an upset against Lazio in the round of 16 game with the scoreline of 2-0 or 2-0 and in the quarterfinals they have clutched it. That game was actually their best as they managed to beat Bayer Leverkusen with a scoreline of 2-1. All thanks to the very late goal by the super sub Adelton. Hellas Verona do not have players that have good quality and pace. But however, they are true fighters and can use that performance like they have done in their previous matches. 
so that they can taste their first grand final in the Brisbane 05 Blaster World Club Cup. Number 3. Leicester City. Just like Hellas Verona, Leicester City are also underdogs, but in the Premier League. However, they did win the Premier League in 2015 to 16, but right after that, they have not achieved anything big like making it to their first Champions League finals. However, this team have good spirit, and if they can win in the semi final, they can have their chance to be in the grand finale. In their last knockout games, Leicester City have managed to beat Roma, which had the likes of Cafu in the round of 16 on penalties, 5 to 4, but the scoreline of 0 to 0. And right after that, a dramatic golden goal appeared in the quarterfinals as Leicester City finished the game in style and defeated Marseille with the scoreline of 3 to 2, all thanks to a powerful kick by Scorecroft, who has scored a double in that match and is looking to find his inner strength to build their team. Leicester City have a good goalkeeper, Flowers and Akin B, who has a good accuracy in shooting and passing. They're up against Real Madrid at home, who have shown no mercy against low-ranking teams. Can Leicester City do the unthinkable? We don't know. And last, we all know who made it. Of course, Real Madrid. And finally, we have the fan-favorite team that everyone looks to be extremely thrilled and excited about. That's right, you know the team, Real Madrid. Real Madrid are kings of Spain and Europe as they've almost won everything like Champions League titles, La Liga titles and Copa del Rey titles. They're also looking forward to being in their first grand final in the Brisbane 05 Blaster World Club Cup. Now, Unlike those three teams that have played in those knockout matches, Real Madrid have had an easy run and a dominating display in the knockout matches as they bet Lorient comfortably in the round of 16 with the scoreline of 2-0. And in the quarterfinals, comprehensively beating FC Sigma Ulamuk with the scoreline of 3-1. Real Madrid's players have good football skills as they are this close to reaching the top. They have the likes of Zidane, Raul, Roberto Carlos and their top goalie Iker Casillas, who has made the most saves in one of the matches. They're up against Leicester City, who are also competitive as they're battling for the grand final spot. So those are the four teams, or should I say, the final four for this inaugural season. Who will be the first two teams to taste their grand final appearance? We're going to see that right after we finish those semi-final games.